Hello everybody. The summer trip continues. I am at Knidos, the westernmost point of the Dutch Peninsula. Knidos is an uh, ancient city ruled by the Greeks and later by the Romans and the Byzantines from the BC times. It's a port town. We see the port here. There is another port I'll show you later. And this is the beautiful amphitheater. I've never been to the ruins before. I've been to the port in, I think, 1983. There is a water break there. That's also ancient. There is also another water break uh, underwater, rather dangerous. We stopped here while making a blue cruise. And a week later, when we took off, uh, we heard that the boat hit the underwater water break and sunk. <laughs> Years later, I found out that a friend of mine, Tijan's parents were on the boat when it sunk here. There's still a restaurant there, uh, small, but it's more modern now. It was a tiny, tiny restaurant in the old days. I'm not sure if I will be able to find a spot near the sea to continue my water near edge of the water series where I show the force of the nature, force of the water and the wind shaping the rocks. I'll look if I, if I do, if I do find a nice waterside uh, rock formation, I will take a photo, but I'm not sure. In the meantime, I'll show you the Knidos ruins. Of course, I will take scenic photos of the gorgeous uh, rundown amphitheater with the yachts in the harbor. At least they will be stock images. Uh, I don't think they will be fine art images, but they will be uh, used for stock. The view of the amphitheater is unbelievable. I will also make a vertical panorama here, like this, hand holding carefully, but it will work, I think. I'll show you the result later. This is the temple area. It's a beautiful view with the backlight. It's about 35 degrees centigrade here, which is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's, all, it's always a windy area, so it's bearable. These are the stores next to the temples. The walls are still standing. The roofs are gone, but you can see all the compartments right after each other. love these pillars. They are columns lying on the ground, broken. The pillars are in the foreground and the temples are in the background. I want to get closer to the pillars and take another photo uh, from right there. They will be even more uh, of a main subject. Yes. Great. Now I'm going down there to shoot another one even closer. Right here. They will be very close to me. This is nice. This is a well here. It's filled up. There are water wells in these ancient ruins. A lot of them. And these are the 
pieces of the temples. Not much of a view from down here. It's all flat, very flat. There is a beautifully standing wall here. Excellent stone workmanship. Look at the joints. They are carved for perfect fitting. All different sizes of rocks made by the mason uh, man, <laughs> I guess. So I'll take a photo here. Yeah, few erect columns which are not worth shooting. Maybe, well, no, I don't like the roofing there. Maybe these two and the two in the background. It's a symmetry. With people. Market Road with the columns here. Wonderful. The Dacia area has the clearest water I have seen in the Mediterranean and the Aegean. The whole peninsula looks at the south to the open seas and the water is incredibly crystal clear. I see this large building here. The walls are here. It looks like a garden fence or something. I don't know what's inside, uh, but it's filled with uh, grass. And I like the look of it with the backlight. And there is a lighthouse up there, a modern lighthouse. I'll take a few shots here. I like the texture on the ground with the yellow and green shrubbery. Nice. This is the monumental gate to a second temple. These fluted uh, columns are very, very photogenic. I'll make a few photos of them. I'm not spending too much time setting up a tripod or anything because it's extremely hot and it's very exhausting. So I'm doing my best. Uh, these are mainly stock images. I am climbing up to the temple now, the second temple. It's a rough road. There are nice pieces of walls here, perfectly straight, uh, erected, held by other stones. It makes a good subject here with a beautiful background. I'll take a few shots here. This little port here is on the other side of the other port. The other port used to be used for marine trading and this one is military. This one faces the north and the other one faces the south. And behind these hills is the tip of the Dacia Peninsula. And after that it's all open seas and I see a few Greek islands in the distance. In this trip, I am lucky that I have friends who are helping me with the video. Kemal and Özlem are shooting the video mostly. Hello Kemal and Özlem. Hello, Ali. Kemal says this is the first ice cream cone in history. Marble, huge ice cream cone. Very funny. <laughs> I am at the edge of the round temple. This is called the round temple. If I can go up there, I'll shoot, the, shoot it from the top. Otherwise, I won't be able to show the roundness. But this is a huge circle here with the rubble in the middle, but nice walls on the sides.
We are at the uppermost part of the city now. We see both harbors. The one in the south and the one in the north. And look at this now. Inspiration point. And surprise, surprise. Look at this. Unbelievable. Go up here. Wow. Here I am seeing the Gökova side now. Northern side. Another beautiful bay here. Turquoise colors. Gorgeous. Wonderful. This couple has the best scenery. I am so glad I've been here. Uh, like many ancient cities in Turkey, there are hundreds of them. Uh, most of the city is still underground. An archaeologist friend used to tell me that it's better to leave it underground than to take it out of the ground. So they are better protected that way. I was up there and from there I saw the entrance to this northern west harbor. So I will attempt to set up my camera here and make a long exposure photo with the water and the gates, hopefully. There are people on them, but we'll see how it goes. The sun is setting behind the wall. Gate to the entrance to the harbor here. This is the harbor. Beautiful sunset, gorgeous light. The light is hitting that, where? That wall over there on the side. Many people are there watching the sunset. There are some people on the walls here. Uh, though they will be included in the image, but we'll see. It's something like this. At least I attempted to do an image for the series in Knidos. It's, it was important. And uh, what I am happy about is that I include, included part of the uh, ruins in the image. <laughs>